Okay, don't judge. So, I'm getting ready to trim back this petunia. But, before I do, I want to stop and show you guys what why the Cool Whip Bowl is sitting in the middle of the plant. And, I ran and grabbed some scissors because I'm actually going to trim the, the weathered dead stuff off. But, I'm actually going to harvest some seeds. So, if you guys look right here, that's a seed pod. So what I've done is I, it, when I do a hanging basket, I go ahead and um, I keep the, the tag inside the basket. So if I love that plant, then I can either snap a picture of it, put it in my notes or a file folder and say, okay, I definitely want to buy this again or order it if I can't find it. And so this is a miracle Grow plant. It is a petunia. And so I am literally just going through, let that car pass. And before I cut this plant back and try to get it to keep growing for a little longer, I'm gonna grab all these seed heads off of here. Um, and there's plenty on the whole plant. If you guys look all throughout here, okay, so there's you know there's a ton of seed heads so i'm going to go ahead and harvest these then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and for now i'm just going to keep the tag in i'll clean that off so you guys can see what this is i'm going to keep this in the bowl for right now but i'm just going to go grab a marker right on the lid of this cool whip bowl that i kept and then that way um I can just go ahead and put the tag back into the plant if I needed to, really, because it's already the middle of September. Um, this will keep growing for about another month as long as the weather allows. And so cutting it back, and it's already been cut back a couple times, but so we were really busy a couple weekends ago. We weren't home every day until late at night. Um, and we were actually gone literally all day. We had taken the dog with us, and so um, she suffered a little. But look how beautiful this thing is. So I'm going to go ahead and just end this video. I know it's a quick one, but I wanted to show you guys. Um, so what happens is, and I'll show you guys real quick. So do you see the spent bloom? Once that bloom dries out most of us will come and just deadhead the plant and here's a good example of that before they get to this point we'll go ahead and just pull the blooms right and we'll just toss them down well I got busy and it it suffered a little bit because it didn't have any water and so those blooms that I didn't deadhead petunias are just horrible I love my bubblegum proven winners um, and there's one of a big pot on my porch with the bubble gums and then over there by the doggo is one of my bubble gums um, and they're just amazing but this is a petunia so you do have to cut it back quite a bit you do have to deadhead and you know I just got really busy and I didn't come and I didn't pull these blooms well not pulling these blooms ended up making the petunia go to seed and so that's what happened is there's one I should have pulled when it got to that point like this one right right here where I didn't come out and so this is what it kind of turns into well then where that bloom meets just kind of dries up and becomes a seed pod so I'll show you harvesting of these seeds later I'm gonna go ahead and in this video um, I'm also going to go ahead and cut this all the way back so it's going to look like a new baby but it'll continue to bloom for about another five to six weeks possibly depending on the weather so it will start to look better um, because I'm literally going to shave it back all the way but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to harvest as many as these seed pods as I could get um, within a decent amount of time and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually working on um, weeding my flower bed. So I do need to continue to do that. But I just wanted to show you guys the seed heads and explain to you what I was doing. And it is a petunia. So, you know, you're supposed to deadhead them, you know. And here's another good example. I didn't come out and pull those. And then 
they just end up drying, right? And going to that next stage. And you see right here by my thumb, that's the next stage. So these petunias need cut back. And before I cut them back, I'm going to go ahead and harvest as many seed pods because I got a ton of seed pods on this thing. And then I'm just going to go ahead and trim it and hopefully I can save it and it'll keep blooming for another five weeks. Um, hey, have a good one. Talk to you guys soon. And I hope this helps. Look how pretty. Okay. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.